हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल फ्यूजन स्टेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू रीसेट द एडमिन पासवर्ड वाया कंसोल और कॉम पोल सो जनरली देयर आर टू सिनेरियोस वेयर वी नीड टू रीसेट द एडमिन पासवर्ड द फर्स्ट इज वेयर द यूजर इज नॉट एबल टू रिकॉल द पासवर्ड एंड द सेकंड इज इफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज हायर्ड अ एडमिन who needs to manage this firewall but that uh, admin user is not able to access this firewall so in that case they need to reset the admin password so generally we have uh, two com ports available on the firewall first is micro usb com port and the second is rj45 com port and uh, you also need a console cable so that you can connect this firewall to directly connected machine with the help of these com ports to reset the admin password and this is the only way to reset the admin password via the com or console port we cannot uh, reset it using uh, gui or cli so make sure you have a console cable so that we can reset the admin password using the console access as we can see that uh, in this diagram we have two com ports micro usb and rj45 it depends uh, what kind of cable you have so if you are having a micro usb cable then just connect the one end of the cable to the micro usb com port and second end to the directly connected machine and in case if you are using a console cable where uh, the one side of the connector is uh, rj45 then you need to connect the one end of the cable to the rj45 com port and the another end to the directly connected machine and generally the another end would be the usb port that uh, you need to connect it on the usb port of the directly connected system here are some key points that we need to consider as we have two com ports and let's say the user connects the console cable to both the com ports to the directly connected machine and in that scenario the micro usb com port will have the higher priority make sure he will have to select the same com port while accessing it using the putty application the third point is if you are connecting a firewall via the console or com port make sure you have set the speed or port as a 38400 and uh, the same speed would be defined uh, correctly otherwise you may not be able to access it via console Let's navigate to our lab environment where we will reset the admin password via the console. In the lab environment, I don't have any option to connect the console cable, so I will uh, demonstrate you what options would be available once you will connect the com port to the directly connected machine and uh, how to verify which com port we need to use and how to access it using the Putty application. So based on that, uh, you can continue it further. First of all, uh, let's navigate to the Sophos firewall where we will try to log in using uh, the incorrect password. Then after we will see how to reset it using the console. Now you can consider both the scenarios. Let's say you are not able to recall the password or you are a new admin to this firewall and uh, you need to reset the admin password. So here I have defined the username as admin and the password I just randomly typed. and try to log in here we have received the error message as login failed before navigating you to our lab environment uh, let me show you one thing here so this is the option that i was talking about once your uh, firewall is connected to the system on uh, your system you will get uh, these ports com port 1 or com port 4 so whatever the number is uh, displaying over here the same number you just need to define in the putty application open the putty select the connection type as serial and just check that uh, your firewall is connected via which com port and define the same com port over here then after define the speed so the speed uh, that we need to use to connect to this firewall via console is 38400 then click open once you will click open then you will get uh, this kind of screen where it will ask you about to enter the password you may also not able to get any output once you access it via the console so you just simply need to press enter and wait for a few seconds once you get this authentication failed message then after again it will ask you about the password now you just need to type the password as reset in upper case letters one more thing is that once you will define the password it would not be displayed over here and after typing the password reset in upper case letters just press enter then after you will get the option of main menu where you need to select the option number 4 to reset password for the admin user 
After selecting option number 4, it will ask you to reset the password to factory default. Just type Y, then press enter. Now here we can see that uh, the password of admin user has been reset. Now just simply type the default password which is admin and press enter. Now here we can see that we are able to log into the firewall using the CLI. Now the same password you can use to add login to the firewall using the web console. So here I have defined the default password as an admin prior to login. See, we have uh, successfully logged into the firewall and got the prompt of uh, login disclaimer. Once you will reset the admin password uh, via the console and then after if you try to access it using the web console, this compulsory password reset screen would be appeared where you need to define the current password and the new password that you, you can use later to access this firewall. After defining it, just click apply. Now we have successfully logged into our firewall using the web console. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any query, just drop a comment. I will definitely answer all of your queries. And please uh, hit the like and subscribe button to get such more informative content regarding uh, the Sufus firewall. And stay tuned for all the upcoming videos. Till then, take care of self. Have a great day. Goodbye.